So we we use everybody. I think that's involved with with folks that are homeless um, are using their hearts. You know, we're we're lending them out. We're helping carry some of the burdens that people have to carry. We are um, maybe something kind of get thrown at us. Not we didn't do nothing, but there was some there was some um, agitation that was kind of thrown at us, and it it can start to weigh heavy on our heart. So what do we deal with that? First and foremost, we take care of ourselves. In yoga, this practice today, it will be easy. It won't be too difficult. I am going to give you modifications. I encourage you to take them and use them and decide what feels best in your body. I, I can't tell, so I'm going to, I'm going to need you to, to recognize and make that connection. It's really important. So take the modifications if you like, or do the more intense poses if you enjoy. Um, we're going to start off in a quiet space. I hope you have one. If you don't, try to tune out the noises that are around you. If, if I get a code here in the building, hopefully not, but if it happens, um, I'm going to choose to tune it out because that's a sign of the outside world because I'm trying to reconnect with my, my inner self. And I got a team here. There's lots of people that take care of those things in this moment. So we'll be okay in that regard. I have a little note on the door that says, don't come in for the next you know, half hour or so because we're, we're doing something in here. So if you want to put up a note, you can. See if you can find a chair that is stable, like no wheels, if you can. If you do have wheels, lock them. That would be helpful. I have a chair that has armrests because that's the chair that's available, and I'm going to make it work. But if you have a chair without an armrest, that's even better because you can have more of a range of motion. If you're at home or somewhere that you have a blanket available or a towel, you can put that on the back of your chair, and that will be helpful in the resting part of our class today. No dangly feet. So if you happen to be um, somebody who's sitting in a chair where your feet are not stable on the ground, I encourage you to put something under your feet. Can be blocks if you have them. Not everybody has yoga blocks. Use whatever you got. You got a book. I got like a binder. This is like just like a binder from a training. You can put that down, place your feet on top of it. That'll help you feel more grounded. Um, so what you kind of are looking for is your knee to be sort of at a 90 degree angle just because it feels more comfortable. My feet aren't dangly, so I'm not going to use the block, but you do if you need one. Come to sort of the edge of the chair, the front of the chair, so you're not leaning back right now. You're coming towards the front of the chair. It just helps with attention, which can help with intention as we start to begin our class. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a little bit of breath awareness. We're going to move into some warm-ups. We're going to do a few active poses. And then there's going to be um, a time of some cool down. And at the very end, there's a minute or two of quiet and stillness. And this is a time when it feels like the practice is really absorbed in the body. We call it Shavasana in yoga. So that's kind of what we're going to do in the next um, several you know, minutes, the time we share together. At any point, if you just want to sit still and breathe, you are still practicing yoga, and I invite you to do that. Um, I'm going to explain everything. So if you like, you can also not tune into this little, this little um, computer or this phone or whatever you're watching me on and just follow my cues. But I am going to demo today because sometimes it's a little easier, especially for people new to yoga, to know what poses I'm kind of talking about or where I'm moving my body. Okay, I think we've about covered it there. And so we'll start to get started. If I think of something as it comes along, I'll just mention it. But, I, but for first and foremost, I'm glad you're here. Glad you're giving this a try with me. We'll see how it goes. So to start, just notice how you're sitting in your chair. Uh, your back is really like this bit of an S curve. The, the bottom of your back comes a little bit of an arch and sometimes if you just tilt your pelvis a little bit forward as you bring your shoulders back you can find a comfortable way to sit here in your chair so see how you feel and imagine your head kind of going up towards the ceiling towards the sky 
as you find some center of stillness and quiet. You can either bring your hands to rest on your knees, palm down. Sometimes that means you're holding on to some energy. Palm up if you have energy to release, or left hand on bottom, right hand on top, touching your thumbs. That's a way to hold your hand in a, um, in a, in a what they call a mudra, just a way to hold your hands, or called dhyana, which helps with some mindfulness, to promote mindfulness. So you decide how to hold your hands. You can close your eyes and just start to notice your breath. And as you notice your breath, I encourage you to think of some gratitude towards your breath. You've been breathing all day, maybe you haven't had time to notice, but your in-breath is bringing you the oxygen you need, and the out-breath is helping you get rid of carbon dioxide and toxins and things your body doesn't need. And it's been moving along automatically all day. We're gonna do a practice right now called square breathing to help to center and re-regulate. So if your eyes are closed, if you like to watch me for a moment, um, you can or keep them closed. But basically what we're gonna do is you're gonna envision a box of, or a square. And as you breathe in, you're gonna envision going along one side of the square. And you're gonna pause with your breath full in your lungs along one of the sides of the square. Breathe out down the opposite side of the square. And then with your lungs empty of air, you're gonna pause as you go along the base. Okay, so you're gonna bring that, that idea of a square into your mind while you breathe. And I'm gonna count you through it. We're gonna to count to count of four for each one. So breathing in to four, pause to four, out to four, and um, back in. So we're gonna lead you through it. Follow along with me. So start with just a regular normal breath for you. And on your next breath in, breathe in, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, Pause, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four. Come back to your regular breath, your normal breath. Notice if anything shifted. If your eyes are closed, you can open your eyes or keep them closed. Your preference. And being aware of your feet grounded on the, on the floor with your knees above your ankles and take awareness of your posture again. I invite you to take your hands and just Grip them together. If you like, you can switch the way that your fingers and thumb are related to each other. Sometimes we call this the awkward way. Uh, just bring some attention and awareness. Bring your hands, your knuckles right beneath your chin. Bring your elbows together. And we're going to breathe. I call this accordion breath. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's kind of really wonderful way to open up your breath. So as you breathe in, you're gonna open your elbows, open your lungs, tilt your head back, opening your throat, taking a nice breath in. And as you breathe out, you're gonna bring your head back to center and bring your elbows together. So breath in, opening up. And breath out, bringing your elbows back together. Breath in, opening up. Out, bring them back together. One more time, breath in, really taking it in, opening your heart, your lungs. And breath out, bring them back together. And then 
release your hands, bring them back to your knees, take a breath in, get nice and tall. As you breathe out, we're going to twist. So bring your left hand behind you, maybe to the back of your chair, and take your right hand onto your knee. As you breathe in, you get tall, and as you breathe out, turn. And as you turn, turn your, your belly, your chest, and then your chin towards the back of you. With each breath in, you get a little taller. With each breath out, you turn a little more. It's okay to look behind you. Sometimes that helps the mind settle to just know what's behind us. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, come back to center. And this time we're going to go the other way. So bringing your right hand behind you, gripping the back of your chair. Left hand comes to the right knee. Take a breath in, get tall, and take a breath out. Turn towards the back once again. Kind of taking in the view all the way around you. Thinking about your belly, your chest, your chin, turning towards the back. Bringing out, sometimes I like to envision a wash rag that's full of water, kind of emptying on the twist. So you decide the intensity. How? much of a twist are you in for today? Are you interested in? Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, come back to center. Now we're gonna do something called a sun salutation. This is adapted to the chair. It's kind of one of the ways to do it. Um, if you'd like to join in, you can just follow along with me. Um, so take a breath in, bring your hands to a prayer position in the center of your chest. Maybe your knuckles even chest touch the center of your chest. Sometimes that's a point of energy. And then as you breathe in, bring your hands up all the way to the ceiling. Turn your palms away from each other and swan dive all the way forward in your chair. Take a breath in, come halfway up. So straighten your back, gaze us towards the floor. Take a breath out, come all the way down again. Take a breath in, hold on to your right leg and give it a little squeeze. So you decide, maybe this is enough, but if you like, you can squeeze it all the way in towards your chest. Breath in, kind of leaning back. And as you breathe out, bring that leg back down, come all the way down. Breath in, halfway up. Breath out, all the way down. Breath in, open the reverse swan dive, open those arms up all the way. See if your palms can find each other. Make those prayer hands, breath out, come back to the center of the chest. You can do that again on the other side. So breath in, hands go all the way up towards the ceiling, leaning back, opening up your heart. Breath out, turn your palms opposite direction, swan dive all the way forward. Breath in, halfway up, straight back, head is towards the opposite wall. Breath out, all the way down. Breath in, this time hold on to that left leg and bring it up towards you. And you decide how much you bring it in. If you like, you can squeeze it all the way towards your chest. Breath out, come all the way back down. Breath in, halfway up. Breath out, all the way down. Breath in, arms come out wide, reverse swan dive, all the way up, palms find each other, breath out, back to center. One more time, this time it's gonna be both legs. So breath in, opening up wide, breath out, turn your palms and swan dive all the way down. Breath in, come halfway up, breath out, all the way down. This time both legs come out long, breath in, come all the way up. Breath out, all the way down, noticing the longer stretch. Breath in, bring your legs back, bend, come forward halfway up. Breath out, all the way down. Breath in, arms come up wide towards the ceiling, palms find each other. Breath out, back to your center. Notice how you feel, maybe place both hands on your heart, close your eyes for just a moment. Be aware of your heart beating. Just like your breath, your heart has been beating all day today, but maybe you haven't noticed. 
can release your hands. Add a little space between your feet, maybe like six inches or so. We're going to do a little bit of forward fold twist, not too, um, not too much under the intensity that you're going for today. Take a breath in, bring your arms up all the way. Take a breath out. This time, bring your palm hands all the way down the center of your body towards the space between your feet. So from here, you can bring your right hand down to the ground and your left arm can come up towards the side. So this is a nice twist. That arm goes up towards the ceiling. Your gaze is towards the opposite wall or towards the ceiling. Honor where you're at with your neck. What feels best. If you like, you can, you can twist it a little bit more of a bind for more of the intensity or just leave that arm raised, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, bring that left hand down to center, switch hands. So the left hand comes down towards the ground. The right arm comes all the way up, adding to a twist in the opposite direction. Gaze comes towards the side of the room or towards the ceiling, deciding what feels best for your neck today. Arm can go in a bind if you like for more intensity or just up towards the ceiling. Your breath in, and as you breathe out, come back forward. And then from here, we're going to open the arms up all the way wide, palms together, back to center. So those were kind of our warm ups. We did some movement and some twisting, gets you started, helps release some of the tension and add space between the ligaments and tendons and muscles. And next we're going to do a few more poses. These are uh, kind of the working poses, I guess. The first one we're going to do is seated eagle, which is a pose where we kind of wrap up our body. I'm going to give you modifications on what feels best for you. But it starts with your left leg kind of centered and connected to the ground, and then take that right leg and just cross it over. This is eagle legs if you prefer. If you want more intense, you can wrap that right foot around the left leg and that just increases the twist. But you could also leave it untwisted if that feels better in your body. Now we're gonna do the arms. So those are the legs for eagle. You're gonna have your arms out wide to the opposite ends next to you, the walls. And then since our right leg is on top, we're gonna to bring our left arm underneath and right arm on top. So our arms are crossed. Then see what it feels like to grab onto your elbows I mean, onto your shoulders and have your elbows out and forward. This is a variation of eagle arms. Might feel better for those with tight shoulders. If you like more intensity, you can bring your hands towards the ceiling and then kind of wrap them around each other until the palms um, are facing each other. This is another way to do eagle arm. Either way, your elbows are out towards the wall in front of you. Take a breath in. Bring those elbows towards the ceiling, opening up. Take your breath out. Touch your elbows towards your knees. Take your breath in, opening up. Take your breath out, coming back down. Take your breath in, opening up. Take your breath out, all the way down. Take your breath in, come back to center. And as you breathe out, you're going to unravel your arms, unravel your legs, open up wide, and let your ego fly. That's a, that's a shout out to Daphne, one of our volunteers we used to have here at ACH. Um, now we're going to try our right leg down, get it grounded in the center, and then let that left leg cross over. Okay, so this is your ego legs if you like. If you want more intensity, you can wrap that foot around the leg that's on the ground. Get tall again, bring your arms out to the side. This time we're gonna have the right arm come under, the left arm come on top. So you get them crossed. Just hold on to your shoulders if that feels like enough of a stretch in your upper body. If you want a little more intensity, you can wrap those forearms around each other. Elbows come towards the wall in front of you. Take a breath in, elbows towards the ceiling, opening up. Breath out, elbows to knees. Take a breath in, opening up. Take a breath out, elbows to knees. Take a 
Take a breath in, opening up. Take a breath out, elbows to knees. Take a breath in, come back to center. And as you breathe out, you're going to unravel again. Open up wide and let your ego fly. And come back to center. So here we are again with our feet on the ground. We're going to do a variation of pigeon. This one will help to open up the hips. Sometimes we hold a lot of tension in our hips. So this, this can be um, a great way to release some of that tension. Anybody forced to sit in their chair for the day, whether it's a mobility issue or just a convenience issue. So with pigeon, what you're going to do is you're going to take your left leg and you're going to bring your left ankle onto your right knee. This might be too difficult. You can also extend that leg and just cross over at the bottom part of the leg if you need a little more softer um, variation on your hip. Okay? But if you like more intensity, you can come on up um, and just notice how that feels. You can press a little bit on your knee just to open up that hip tall. And then if you want a little more, you can hinge forward, bringing your body forward, noticing the sensations, being aware of the opening of your hip in this seated pigeon. Your gaze is towards the floor, your chest is still open and you're hinging at your hip. Take a breath in, and all the way up. Take a breath out, release the leg. Take a moment. Just notice the differences in your hips. You notice any differences in the legs. I'm going to try that on the other side. So this time taking your right leg and then choosing a variation. Now the, the sides of your body are not the same. Uh, that's not the way we're created. We, we're sort of imperfectly perfect. So one side might be more open than the other. You can uh, bring your leg this way if you want to do the variation that Leg like is straight and you're just opening more gently at your hip. And if you want more intensity, keep that left leg bent, bring the right ankle onto the left knee. Sit tall, press a little bit on that knee, notice where that edge is for you. Never should be pain, but you just sort of notice, be aware of the sensation. Sit tall, and as you breathe out, just leaning forward, hinging forward into your seated position of pigeon. Breath in, coming up nice and tall, and then releasing that leg down. Maybe give it a little windshield wiper. Next, we're going to do um, a pose it's called Warrior One with the chair, and um, we're going to have a variation of something called Humble Warrior as well. So, I invite you, if you like, turn towards the side in your chair. Um, your hips are going to be towards the side wall, and your front leg is going to be bent. Your back leg is going to be straight behind you. Now, that back knee can be bent if that feels better in your body. If it goes straight, it can go straight. So you decide how to get the, the legs into that nice warrior position. So really pay attention to the hips. The hips are towards the side of the, the wall. Hands are on your hips to start. See how you feel. You have the support of the chair under your hip. And then I invite you, if you like, bring your arms to match. So you're opening your chest. Your arms stay in the shoulders. The hands go out far. Your pinkies kind of turn towards each other, and it's almost like you're holding a ball. Sometimes, if you like to visualize, maybe you're holding the world. This is kind of a powerful pose. You can feel like a warrior. As you breathe out, turn your palms away from each other. See if your hands can find each other behind you. Again, this has to do with your opening of your shoulders. If your shoulders prefer, they can maybe grab your elbows, or maybe they just rest behind you at your hips. If you like, you can also clasp your hands and just pull them in back, opening up your chest even more towards the ceiling. 
And on your out breath, leaning forward into a humble warrior, which is when you lean forward, maybe your arms come towards the ceiling, maybe they rest on your hips. Go eat breath. Humble warrior is a pose that reminds me of compassion and peacefulness that a lot of you carry, but it also reminds me of the strength in those legs of an advocate, of somebody that's fighting the good fight. Take a breath in, opening your chest towards the ceiling. Once again, release your hands, bring them to your hips and then swivel yourself forward. Take a moment to notice the two sides of your body. We're gonna try that on the other side. So turning towards the opposite wall, left knee comes towards the ceiling, right leg comes up and back. Now this leg can be bent or it can be straight. See what feels best in your body and then bring your arms to match. Arms come out long, your shoulders stay in the socket, hands go out forward, your pinkies are towards each other, finding your warrior one on the opposite side, supported by the chair. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, turn your palms away from each other. Bring your hands behind you, resting where it feels best for your shoulders. I'm gonna clasp mine, but they could be holding onto your elbows or just resting at your hips. If you like clasping them, opening your chest forward. And as you breathe out, leaning forward into your variation of humble warrior. Hands can stay at the hips or they can go towards the ceiling, opening up your shoulders, keeping your foot down on the ground, on your toes and the back leg. Breath in, come all the way up, release your hands, and then swivel forward. All right, you guys are still with me, this wonderful a few more um, stretches and poses. Uh, the next one we're going to do is star and goddess. So take a breath in, open up your arms, and then come on to, so you've got your, your heels are towards each other, the toes are away from you, but come up onto your toes. This is our variation of star. And as you breathe out, you're gonna bring your heels down and make some football posts with those arms. And that is our variation of goddess. We're gonna link it again to the breath. So breathing in, coming up on your toes, expanding your arms into star. And breathing out, coming into goddess. Breath in, coming out, coming back, and then bring your arms down. We'll do a few more stretches before we go to Shavasana. And the first one we're gonna do is just bring both of your feet forward. This is kind of a hamstring stretch, and it looks like a simple stretch, but it can um, be quite intense depending on how your hamstrings and calves are feeling. Take a breath in, bring your arms up wide and over your head. And as you breathe out, leaning yourself forward. Now, you can decide where you go. Maybe this is your forward fold. Maybe you go further down. Honor where you're at in your body. Gaze comes towards the ground. You're hinging. And then come on up, back up. Finger. Feet back to the ground. You're gonna do a bridge pose. And this is the only one where you can come off your seat if you like, but you don't have to. So one way to do bridge is to just bring your hands to the back of the chair, open your chest and just lean forward so that your chest is towards the ceiling. But if you like, from here, you can lift your hips towards the ceiling as well. This is another way to do seated bridge. Your head is just an extension of your spine as you breathe out really gently coming back into your chair. From here, come fall. Bring your right hand to your left knee and then bring your 
left hand in back if you get tall again and as you breathe out twist maybe notice if your twist feels different from the first twist and back to center do that on the other side so um, bringing your left hand to right knee right hand in back if you breathe in get tall breathe out look towards the back once again Breathe in, come back to center, and then shift back so you're sitting with your back against the back of your chair. If you have that blanket back there, it might feel a little more cozy, but if you just have the back of the chair, let it support you, let it support your back. I invite you, if you like, to close your eyes. Bring your palms up towards the ceiling if you like, or down, or in that dhyana mudra. The left hand on bottom, right hand, both palms up. And touching your thumbs. We're just going to sit here for one minute, letting the practice absorb into the body. start to come back. We do so really slowly and gently. So keeping your eyes closed if you can or your gaze soft if you want them a little open. Start by just having some little movements in your feet. Maybe pressing on your toes and heels. Maybe rotating your ankles. Do that with your hands too. So opening, closing your hands, maybe rotating your wrists. If you like, you can bring your arms over your head, maybe one stretch, kind of like you're waking up for a second time today. Maybe your right hand pulls at your left wrist and kind of over on the side, a little bit of half moon. Keeping your eyes closed still if you can. Head to center, try that on the other side. Left hand holds right wrist. Maybe your gaze is towards the ceiling if your eyes are open. Come back to center. One long, big stretch towards the middle. Let your arms come down really slowly. We're towards the, the end of our practice. And I invite you, if you like, you can follow along with me. You can either say it or maybe just listen. Uh, this is a way to end the practice that um, is inspired by another of our volunteers, um, Kathy, who ended in a similar way, a little different. But today, I will have hopeful thoughts. Today, I will have peaceful words. Today, I will have strength and heart. I had so much fun teaching you guys today. I'm so inspired by all of you and the work that you do towards being part of the good in this world. We need you all here. Please take care of yourselves. It's been an honor to share this time and space with you. So thank you so much for participating, um, whether you did live or whether you do in the future, wherever that might be. Please know that I am rooting for you. All right, peace.